I like that term, mechanic eyes, because a lot of times you're just doing this and like you're staring off into space and you're just like, this is what it looks like. Pretend there's something right here. And then you're like this, just like trying to figure it out, but you're looking this way and just trying to imagine what it is. And welcome back everybody. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever time it is you guys are watching this. In this vlog, I will show you the three hidden screws underneath the climate control slash behind the radio if you do have a radio inside your 92 through 95 Civic. I can't show you how to take out your console and stuff because Tonka does not have that, but there are three screws that are very hard to see and I figured might as well make a quick video because I'm not using that. I was gonna keep it for an OEM look, but there's definitely no point. The only thing you need is a nice little screwdriver like this. Let's get it. I apologize, I cannot show you how to take out your center console and stuff like that, step by step. Maybe I'll make another video when I replace Goku's because Goku's, this heater lever right here is broken. Just this little piece. So maybe I'll make a new one. But for now, the switch panel does not fit it's about a quarter inch too big i believe so once we take this out we'll put the switch panel up here and then yes we're not going to finalize it because i still need to wire this in i'll make that in the video i'll try to explain as good as i can i'm not that good at wiring but i'll show you what i'm doing to wire it in tonka all right guys to our spare dash over here here's number one the easy phillips that's probably the easiest one to get to and then you're going to need to angle your screwdriver because, let me zoom in, let me zoom in. Let's see if we can get the focus, yep, right here. This one, why is this, okay, right here. It's at a diagonal, there's number two, and then there's number three. So, where those diagonal ones are, are right here. When you stick your finger and hook it, you'll feel one, two, and then of course, that direct one that is right here. Let's get it. Inside Tonka, again, I apologize, I can't show you how to undo the center console stuff, but I think that's fairly easy. I think the most important thing are these three screws. Let's unscrew these. guys so got the three screws out this clip would be right here very simple just unplug that and then this one I'm not sure where it goes you should be able to find it fairly easy but this is something that people forget about there's a little lock that goes right here you can see the markings and then this, a bar goes through it. So down here, it'll literally be around this area. It's fairly easy. You just fold down the lock, pop it out, and then push this down and it'll release itself. It's, that's the best I could explain it without it being here, but let's start popping this out. So since it's unscrewed, let's do that. Start pulling it, and then remember to feed your wire through. I'll put you guys on a tripod and then show you. To some people, with a race dash like this, it'd be fairly easy. But for people doing this in their normal daily drivers and stuff like that, this might this might help and might not. It's probably a hit or miss, honestly. Boom. And this out. 
All right, so remember those diagonal screws? They're right here and right here. That's where they're bolted up to, to hold itself in place. So around right here and around right here. Just feel your finger, use your mechanic eyes, and you'll be able to find it. I like that term, mechanic eyes, because a lot of times you're just doing this and like you're staring off in the space and you're just like, this is what it looks like. Pretend there's something right here. And then you're like this, just like trying to figure it out, but you're looking this way and just trying to imagine what it is. Most of the time you can. <laughs> but anyway, right here, right here, and then the middle one is the easiest one to get to. It bolts to right here. All right guys, so before we conclude this video, next video I'll probably show how I wire in my ignition to the main power. But, shove these wires through, make sure this fits, and it does. So it'll sit just like this, and looks really nice. Oh yeah. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like once it's fired up. Still need to do that, but in this radio slot, we're going to have a block off plate for a single gauge, and that's where we're going to run our wideband. So we could tune the car, monitor the air to fuels, and I was going to get a block off plate for two gauges so I could monitor the oil pressure, but I don't know. They're pretty cheap. I found a company, they're only like 15 bucks or so. And if I wanted to use the same one, I could literally just drill a hole. I don't know. Who knows? But we will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. But uh, like I said, this video might be a hit or miss. Those three screws that I pointed out are very important and, in my opinion, were hard to find. If I didn't have the dash out and the way it is with everything in the way, I wouldn't have known. But, in my opinion, and I think other people can vouch, the center console and stuff is easy to take apart. But, those three screws, because once you take everything apart, you're going to be like, well, how do I undo this? And you're going to start prying on the, you know, the front of the climate control, possibly break the plastic and stuff like that. I've seen people do that. That's why I'm saying it. But, um, yeah, stay blessed, stay slammed, no spoiler, keep gunning, and I'll catch you guys next time.